look at that. That is a prime example. That's lovely, that. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, it's been much better. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, so this is the short game scene I've been going on about for ages. If you've been watching the videos, you'll know I'm struggling around the greens and I'm even more struggling 30, 40 yards to like 80, 90 yards and it's just really starting to do my head in. So eventually we're down here at the Peak County Academy with Danny, who we did some putting with not so long ago. We are still going to do putting and then we're going to try to make this kind of a short game series. And as always, my lesson is your lesson. I'm not going to talk to you too much because I actually really want this lesson. So I'm going to let Tom just hover about. And like I said, mine is yours. Just I've got to pay for it. You don't. And yeah, and that's it. I'm going to crack on. I'm going to hit a few. But at the minute, I've got so many different things going, going through head. the head. Put a glove on. I've got so many different things. Not going from your head. Just I think different, maybe different people have taught us and then different, maybe things I've just kind of figured out by myself. Methods as well, yeah. It does do things I've done, do, I do things I do with my normal swing in my thingy, maybe not. I just, like, so if I was going to chip there to... It's around 50 yards in first flags, yeah. 50 yards, yeah. So I'd, what I found is one, I found one swing last year that I liked. Yep. And then I kind of just, like, Went changed the club. Okay. So if I was going to chip 60 yards, I was getting, like, a bit like that, and then I was just kind of keeping this really robotic to here and coming back down. So I'll just go... And look at that. <laughs> That is a prime example of my <laughs> 50 shot. yard Got chip. You. But then, but then I, yeah, so then I started doing that. I thought, all right, maybe not. Then I started with my wrist, which really works with the, the bowed wrist yeah. with my normal swing. So I thought, do I, do I take that to chipping? Okay. And it did work a little bit. So if I was going to do that, I'd go. And it's a lot better yep. flight and stuff like that. But again, that, that's not stopping for no. 10 yards that. And today, Again, I played, I'm, I'm, I'm 95 yards where I thought, right, nice, easy 56 or whatever, and it, it, it just didn't stop. It, off the back of the green, I made bogey. The amount of times now, it's, it, you'll see all the, obviously we're doing the pro events together. Yep. I'm getting 50, 60, 70 yards out, and I'm, it should be, for me, I need a really easy swing onto a green, and then just go for my two put. I might three put one and however many, but I'm not, I'm missing the green, Give myself really stressful yeah. up and downs. Yeah. Or sometimes my old swing, my old way of chipping, I'd just open the face a little bit and it was quite a steep swing to be fair, which probably is, but then I started veering off a bit and then right. You hit, you hit that one that you've just said there. So then I would do it a bit more like this and go, but then they all started going right. Probably a better chip. Yeah. But again, I felt like them started floating off a little bit, so. So what, what are you? Oh, I don't know, I'll just pick which one I'm going to use. I'm about to say, even though they were three shots. <laughs> yeah. All different trajectories, all different oh, yeah. heights, all different. Everything was different. Yeah, I've got even nothing. direction. Yeah, I've got nothing. There's so nothing there's nothing control. there in them three, which one is going to probably build any consistency. You want a just solid foundations to then apply it. How you've just explained what you probably do majority of the time now, obviously yeah. with the full swing of you feel you almost bow the wrist, which if we're getting the face quite strong, and then you don't deliver because even if we talk about delivery into it it's probably going to be varied. It's not really, you don't have a thought of how the club's coming back into impact to deliver the same loft or a consistent loft. You might have one that's de-lofted. You might have one where you feel like you're opening it up and glancing across it with loads of loft. So all of a sudden, if I'm stood here, you might have one flight like that, yeah. one launching like that. If it's one, if it's lower, if it's thin, there's no so real, do that. there's no real, no wrist. There's, it's just that it's not as consistent now. Not everyone's the same. It's like, I may feel like 50 yards for me is almost, yeah, just yeah. hip height or, or whatever but what you want to try and feel more of is is actually getting the club to come down more neutral so then you can understand how your 60 is going to fly your 56 is going to fly your 52 is going to fly your 48 if it's windy or, or whatever but if that's been bowed and then on the video there at the minute it's been delivered up basically backwards or forwards all of a sudden like we said the distance is going to be so hard to judge so i popped a club down there and what we want you to now do is almost as you're taking the club away, start feeling the weight of the club head just dropping down before the ball. So I've not really hit that very hard. No. And that's the other thing I would say there from seeing you hit some shots is it's a little forced. If you just even gently try and square the club up a little bit straighter, that's it. We now know if you did that more often, yeah. that's coming so back with... So no, no, like, 
quite now, sharp. Now, because again, what happens there, you, ha you drag the handle, the leading edge. Okay. Let's so say if that, the ground's so a bit keeping softer. The, keeping the handle a, a bit like that? Yeah, it's slightly square, yeah. yeah. So, so square to me, and then... I'm so if you now just rehearse that back. And so I'm keeping my... Is it wristy? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I it's almost, it almost feel a lot softer. Right, so I'm just going to go... So if you now rehearse that back. And then just let and it then drop. Just exactly that. So you want the club head moving, so you rehearse that back. You almost want the club head feeling, so you soften the hands there. So you square that up, straight a flight, straight a spin. Like that. So even though we've not even said to the first target, you, you're actually not that far off from it. Yeah. Now even that strike there, you can see and you can hear the, it's not being dragged leading edge, it's almost a back, no. It's like, yeah, just a ding. And like I say, all of a sudden there, from that sensation of that club dropping down here, you can almost feel the bounce of the club starting to work rather than, rather than the leading edge. Little thin. Yeah, I'd say still, that one, I ended up hot. But if you notice as well, when you start dragging the handle up a little bit, you can see ball, because the face is just slightly open, just starts a fraction to the to the right. So now as we talk about that club moving up here, yeah. we want this to work and then square up. Got it? Yeah. Very nice. So if you rehearse that back, you go up and then now start delivering that club down. Better, good. I think today, 30 yard shot, mm -hmm. a 50 yard shot, and a 75 yard shot. As a base point. If I could suss them free. Yeah. If I was zap the flag, I was 40 yards, I'd just play my 30 yard shot. Just get on the green. I, I know I can pretty much two put. So that there's, there is what I need. That shot you it's, play. it's not. It's not hit hard. But then what so, you'll find is, is I get so angry <laughs> and just jealous when I watch people play golf. Like anyone who's good, it just really annoys me. So again, no, no real, no real force. <laughs> and I just want to be like thirty yards right. We're going to go to there, and that's it. Seventy yards is there. 50 yards is there, but it's the same shot, let the weight drop. Correct. So, if I asked you, all right, to set up to that shot, as you would. Yeah. Let's see well, how... as I would now, but I'll, I'll, that daisy's kind of in line, so I'd be like, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Okay, right. Just hit us one. What, like you said before? So I would probably... Just how, as you normally would for this type of shot to judge, oh, thinking of something right. similar to that. and leave it there, get in. Oh. <laughs> the only thing I would say as you get closer is one thing I would, I would say is you can get a little bit closer to it. So if you think of, if oh. I was to stand far away and we, let's say we're going the 70, 80, of course we're gonna stand a little bit further away. However, when we get now closer and you feel like that club is, it's almost gonna feel a little bit more upright and more so as you get closer. From there, as soon as you move this club, what feels here, you just let it go. That's yeah. lovely, that. But again, you're saying like at the start is you want to get a green, you want to get on a green. Then it's, well, I want to be, I want to be within 10 foot. Yeah, here, that's, or... that's, that's maybe episode two. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just get on the green first. Ah. See, that was a little bit, get in. Oh, that was a little bit draggy again. It's almost club, club end down earlier. That's nice. Let's say these, these would all be pretty much. Oh, absolutely. The thing is, you, you can even go a little bit. Let's say a little bit less. If I, if I wanted to, yeah, yeah, I knew it was going to be a fast green and you would land it like just on. Well, then you just obviously go a little bit. I didn't just land that just on. I did, to be fair. That on a green. That's, that's fine. I'd say they're that. not they're not miles over. Yes, okay, the green's firm, but it's mere, we're merely talking about strike and are you in control of that flight? Yeah, every time. 100%. Right, let's go to 50 yards. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Back flag, maybe landed a bit. So back but the thing as well is, is this shot, how, how many people are already defeated before they hit it? Yeah. It's all results, isn't it? Would them three shots you've just hit, would you be happy on a course? Yeah, because obviously, again, Absolutely. that's what you have been just flying, but I've cleared the bunker every single but time. think of trajectory, the strike, Everything's where you'd want it to be. Nice. Very nice. 
But I don't, I don't, know, I don't <laughs> yeah. actually know how far to the back. <laughs> But the thing is, as well, there's, there's never a set distance. Everyone's everyone's got to. No, I mean, gauge for me, I like to have a gauge. That's fifty yards. Okay, that's... you hit you hit this one then. That was a bit armsy, but little just right peck is basically where that was. What, as in with arms? There, yeah, where hands. So you were about. So where do you go off like there? If that gave you a gauge, that's the same swing. Yeah. It's about hands to right peck, so it's almost there. Is that what you go off in? Yeah. To there. I'm just going off what you've just hit there. Me and you might be slightly different, yeah, which yeah. obviously that finding that out is a, a thing, but a little quick. So again, if that's not down and delivered earlier, and again it's just that low point just goes slightly nearer the ball, which you can just hear it's a little clicky. Wider now, slightly, slightly wider. wider. Yeah. So and is that in probably the same shot I've just hit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not far. Obviously, it's going on a hill, but that's what I'm saying. Is from there. I don't th actually. I don't think. See, I think I would. would I'd go to 52 now. Now I'm doing this. That's going to be me. I don't know if I'm going to have to either hit it harder to get there, which I don't really want to start doing. Yeah. What you'll notice with 52 is flight will just go slightly lower. Oh, that's. It's not that. It, like you say, that's there. That's literally next to it. Yeah. I just. But now it's at a point where you go, right, if, if I'm thinking of of that club there and I'm I'm working this club basically on through impact there, working it on the same path, once you get used to that, you then start judging it even more of, like at the minute, you've probably got an idea of 30, 50 and yeah. potentially even 75. It's definitely not as forced as it was to start with. Just popped up on you. That which yeah. there, the 52 would just come out a little lower if if you hit that same strike. I know you don't like these, I know you I, don't. Do you get a hat? Over the last week, I've actually somehow been all right. How are you today in them? No, I thought I was totally <laughs> <laughs> That is my bunker shot going for there. I'm it's now making bogey, double bogey. Gone, head's gone. I'm now swearing at the camera. Aha! If I ask you how did you hit that shot, I, I have no idea. Yeah, which is the answer, obviously, we were going to get. I hit 220 ball. Oh, I'm guessing I kept my weight forward, but I don't know what I did. Obviously, Bunkers is now, let's say we've just been doing short game, trying to strike the ball nice. Obviously, we're trying not to strike the ball. So we can see ball position there. Now, this line here, if you set the shaft on that, so again, we're talking faces there, in your eye line now, the shaft is there. It doesn't want to be too far back. Yeah. Obviously, it doesn't want to be too far forward. Now, when we talked about the chipping and pitching, you know when we talked about squaring the face up? Yeah. And obviously from there, if we can now do that and get the sand, because what you don't want to do is, is glance too much across it, the ball land, and then just spin off yeah, yeah. so far to the right. You almost want to try and get the ball landing and almost rolling like a putt, right. or with a bit more neutral spin. So that would be the setup. But what I want you to do first is come over here, square that face up, and hit the line. But from there, like you say, we're trying to square, square club up a little bit. Perfect. Nice. So you can hear that little thud. Good. Oh, God. So just remember not to get too much this way when we're setting up. It's almost oh. shafts there. Good. Right, now let's try and hit a few. Same principle. Don't want you too far away. So then just rehearse it going backwards. So you go in up. And then slowly now square that up into impact. You're coming down. Good. But obviously we really want that club again, bottoming out, and it'll obviously work with the short game as well. <clears throat> Wait forward, yeah? Yeah, slightly, yeah. Okay. The only thing there was... Speed. Yeah, which obviously, the more you get used to it, the more you trust it. It's like anything, isn't it? With... I like the fact that it's got to come back square. I don't think I used to... I'm probably just hitting it like this. Yeah. So I noticed when we were at yeah, Rotherham, like, yeah, it's like almost there. Yeah. Whereas if you can square that up, again, it's same with the short yeah. game if itself. Is if the low points controlled enough? Lovely. Yeah, that's much better. Isn't it? That's nice. It's just it's it's so important for chipping everything to get that club back at the same. Because yeah, I think a lot of people. Well, how many I people? Watch, I mean, YouTube now. You end up like thinking you've got to have this shaft like this. Yeah. And you're coming in like that, and it's just. It's, 
or how many times are people sort of glancing across it and it yeah. can, it comes out and there's again, so I'm actually aiming that I'm actually aiming at the flag, aren't I? I'm not the aiming ball that is, open. yeah, yeah. You're, you're slightly open relative to, like to the slightly, flag itself, but, not, but I'm quite, uh, everyone's always like really far away from it, like this. And yeah. No, we just again one from there. Even if you did the split grip, you, from there, how would you feel <coughs> to square that up? Yeah. And even if you draw a line before you hit the ball, don't worry too much about that. Nice. It's fine. Like you say, the first bunker shot went in that direction. Yeah, mate. Honestly. Whereas if you can, if I can just completely get them out again, this like I say for me is lesson one, episode yeah, yeah. one. Then you just go on right. I want to hit that flag. I want to go long. I want to go. That's all coming. Yeah. And that's where you get down with scratch and stuff like that. I think you can go at different flags and you know how to do it, but I don't want to do that straight away. It'll fry my head. For the short, short right one. So trust the loft you've got. Well, not open it, no. You can open it a fraction. Like I say, let's let's really let's really give this some speed through impacts, trying to feel it squared up. So we're almost popping this up. Not bad, you know. That's it's a hard shot, but how straight is that coming out? Yeah, yeah. So we know if that club face is relatively... Open even more. I could well, open if it's a little bit more, couldn't I? Yeah, fraction, but again, if you're in a competition and hitting that, it's a tough shot alone, but you yeah. would, you'd have taken that. Nice. Yeah, it's just, it's all about to get that club back, isn't it? I can feel like, I feel like it's a bit square now. Yeah. Lovely. Even that's just out. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather that than that one to the right win the first one. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. out, isn't it? That's it. It's Absolutely. Ah, oh, right. Well, that is the end of episode one short game series with Danny um, down here at the Peter, uh, Peter Cowan Academy. So today we've learned, gone back to the basics, the very fundamentals of chipping. And by the end of it, I hope you can go and practice as well. 30 yards, 50 yards, 75 yard shots. That should help me a lot around the greens. I don't really care if the pin's 40. I'll just play the 30 yard shot and get it on the green. Episode two, three, four, five, we're going to work a lot more on uh, different heights, short ones, blah, blah, around the greens, bunkers, short flags, getting a bit more in-depth. But for day, episode one, take it all in. What did you think? Bang it in the comments, and I'll see you soon.